Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Keys, and today we're going to look at the Fortnite command set developed by X Scareherd with data coming from Tracker Network. I'll leave both of their Twitter handles in the description below. Go give them a follow to keep up with all the updates. And for those of you who have used Destiny stats, Overwatch stats, or Battlefield 1 stats, these work the exact same way. So the tutorial summary is going to cover supported platforms, supported bots, access levels, commands, usage, installation, tips, and resetting your stats. Resetting your stats doesn't delete your stats or reset them in game. It essentially just resets them so that when you're streaming you can pull those stats for that specific stream. Very easy to use. The Fortnite command will pull stats for PSN, Xbox One, and PC Fortnite players. These commands support the following bots. Nightbot, Deepbot, Obot, Streamlabs, Angbot, and Stream Elements. You're also able to set up user access levels based on each of the commands as well. So you can set access to everybody, subscribers, moderators, regular, or owners only. So you have full control over who can use these commands. Without any delay, let's just jump right into it and take a look at what commands you can use. First off is the Fortnite command. And this is a general command that allows users to check their own stats, but also stats of other Fortnite players. Next up is the lifetime command. It's a summary command with only stats of the entered player's username. This includes stats from all playlists and it's a combination. So it combines solo, duos, and squads. The solo, duo, and squad command are summary commands with only stats of the entered player username of a given playlist. So it'll show things like the number of wins, number of matches, their KD, the kills, and the kills per match. Both the KD and wins command show the single stat of the entered player's username. The installation is very easy. There's command generator where you can select the command from the first drop down. From there you can select the default platform. You can also select the default playlist, solos, duos, squads, or lifetime. You can also select what bot you would like to use as well. And again, it supports Nightbot, Deepbot, Obot, Streamlabs, Ankbot, and Stream Elements. I'm gonna use Stream Elements for this demonstration when I do the installation, but other bots work the same way as well. You can also choose user access levels, so as we covered before, everybody, subscriber, mod, regular, and owner. Once you've selected all the information that you'd like to have in your command, you can hit generate. First off though, let's take a quick look at usage just so you can see a little more in depth what we can do. So as you can see, there's some examples here. You can use uh, exclamation mark Fortnite, KD, Gerhard, PC. So you can specify what stat you'd like as well as what platform. Um, you can also use the time, the stack command, the duo command, and you can see an example of what is returned on Twitch or Discord once you've hit that command. It also highlights the platforms you can choose, so you can change platforms that deviate from your default. You can also set your own player command uh, to link your Fortnite account by using exclamation mark Fortnite, set player, your username, and then the platform itself. Now for those that want to get really granular, there's a set of commands. Um, there's general set player, help, and donate. There's also the summary commands if you want to summarize your stats, solos, uh, duos, and squads. There's also specific stat commands as well. So if you want to see your Fortnite score, your KD, your kills, your wins, your matches, uh, kills per minute, kills per game. And you can also go kills by finishes based on 3, 5, 6, 10, 12, and 25. So you can see you can go really in depth with your stats and you can also pull these stats for other Fortnite players as well if you're curious. This does really make for a really fun command set within your Twitch channel and again you can set the user access levels um, to make it so that it's not being spammed constantly. The command generator is really easy to use. You can select the command you want, the default platform, the playlist, the bot that you want to use, and then the access level and then you just hit generate. So you're going to want to copy and paste the generated code and you're going to go over to your Twitch channel and just paste it in your Twitch chat. You'll receive a message once you've successfully installed the command itself. Um, I did find with Stream Elements that I had to activate that command so I flipped over to Stream Elements and quickly toggled that command on after, after a refresh. Alternatively, you can click on the pencil icon to go in and make an edit. This is really neat because you can actually set the command to work when you're online and offline so anyone can go to your channel at any point in time to uh, pick up these stats. It's a really cool feature. Now to give you a glimpse of this or, or a sample in real time, I'm going to pick on the popular Fortnite streamer Ninja. Um, so the first command that I'll use is exclamation mark stats 
Ninja's Hyper. And since I already have my commands defaulted to PC, it's just going to pick up his PC stats. Um, so you can see once I type that in and press enter, it shows us Ninja's wins, matches, his kill death ratio, his total kills, and his win percentage. And in brackets, it'll say what playlist it comes from. So that's solo. We can use the duo command as well. Um, so I can type in Fortnite. Uh, duo stats ninjas hyper and it's going to return ninjas duo stats and I have all the same information as well just based on his duo performance and for all you solo players out there you can use exclamation mark Fortnite solo ninjas hyper and I'll do a sample here you can see it returns the solo stats there are a few commands that require you to enter in a specific username so we'll use lifetime as the example but all of the ones requiring usernames um, work in this manner so you, you select the command from the drop down, enter in the username, select the platform, the bot, and the user access level, and hit generate. Now in the code you'll notice that, it's, that it does notate the player username, the platform that they're on, as well as a stat that you're calling. So it is smart enough to pick all of that up. Now this works for any of the other commands as well, so you can drop down, select another uh, command, and then click generate and it's going to update that particular link for you and the installation works the same way. To install, you simply copy and paste it right into your Twitch chat, press enter, and it's going to install it for you. Now I did mention that you can generate based on user access levels. Um, when you click generate on that, it'll give you a code that you can copy and paste um, into your Twitch um, and it'll update the user levels automatically. You'll also notice that there's a response line directly below. Some bots will allow you to actually copy and paste this and add it directly to the bot, so you can install that method as well. Um, the method that I prefer would either be copy and pasting the Twitch or going to the bot uh, directly and making a quick change there. It's super easy, and I'll show you how you can do it in stream elements, and it's going to work the same in other bots too. So you can click on the edit button, you can select the drop down and choose whatever user level you'd like. Alternatively, as I mentioned, you can copy and paste into your Twitch chat, press enter, and it will install um, that particular permission set for you. A quick refresh will show that that change has actually taken, um, so very simple installation. I'd highly recommend uh, using one of the tips here, and it's the set player tip. Uh, use so that you don't have to continually uh, type in your name every single time you want to use a Fortnite command. So you can type exclamation mark Fortnite set player, your epic username, followed by the platform that you play on, so PS4, Xbox, or PC. It's going to save you a lot of time. Last but not least is the ability to reset your stat tracking. This doesn't delete your stat, it just resets to a certain day. So let's say for example you're streaming in the morning and then you do a nighttime stream, you can do a quick reset. Um, so that it'll show you, you know, your KD during that particular session. You can read the description there for a bit more details. Super easy to set up. Simply enter in your epic username, select your platform, select how often you'd like to reset. You can do daily, weekly, or monthly, and then select your time zone, and then you click Save Tracker Profile. This will take you to the next screen, which allows you to select the playlist that you'd like the uh, command to be included on. You can then choose the field, which should be included in the response, so whatever data you're getting back. And then you select your bot. Clicking Generate will give you the installation code to copy and paste. Um, I've already installed this one, so this is an obvious example of if you've already set it up, you're going to receive a, a prompt saying that the command's been created. Um, the next step is to create the actual command itself. Um, so drop down, click Generate again. Um, you can either use the copy and paste for your bot's control panel or you can use the chat command copy and paste. So again we'll do an installation, the command's been added. You can also go and I do stress adding in the user level. Um, so you can either do that through the copy and paste or you can also do it on your um, bot's command or control panel. So much like a previous example you can go in and select from a drop down. So that about wraps it up for the video. Again, from a summary perspective, we looked at the supported platforms, supported bots, access levels, command, usage, installation, tips, and how to reset your stats. Super easy to do. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you have. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to the channel or hit the like button and want to show your support, please do so. Don't forget to show your support by following uh, xGerhard and TRN Network on Twitter as well. Thanks again for watching.